na impag nga bigat you. Amin. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Good morning, USL. Mapya nga uma. Today is the time to freshen up your mind, to seize the morning, to praise the Almighty, and to stay updated. Let's gather as one Luwishan community virtually. This is USL Pasirimu. Perhaps our Luwishan netizens are wondering, what is USL Pasirimu? This is our virtual morning assembly that is conducted every first Monday of the month. Last September 6, 2021, we launched our pilot episode and we listened to series of good news about the university. Today, we are again live via Facebook and YouTube of USL and simultaneous with our university's public announcement system here inside the university campus. Kaya sa lahat ng nandirito ngayon sa university campus, shout out sa inyong lahat and ma shout out ko na rin yung mga sudyante natin sa senior high school. Bagong buwan, bagong linggo, bagong araw upang yakapin ang bagong simula at bagong hamon ng buhay. Tanong nga sa isang commercial, Sir Brian, para kanino ka bumabangon? Well, mahirap sagutin yan, Sir Kyle. <laughs> ako, bumabangon ako. Well, para sa Diyos, para sa Pilipinas, para sa aking mahal sa buhay, ang aking asawa, para sa mga kaibigan at kamag-anak, at syempre, para sa St. Louis. Dahil tayo nga ay bumabangon para sa Diyos, para sa bansa, at para sa universidad, nararapat lang na simulan natin ang magandang umaga sa pamamagitan ng pambungad na panalangin. Yes, kasunod nito ang pambansang awit at ang himig ni San Luis at ang magandang mensahe ng ating Vice President for Mission and Identity and University Chaplain, Reverend Father Emmanuel Enjang Pranatal, CICM. At syempre, may magandang balita rin ang ating elementary principal na si Dr. Emily T. Maborang. Kaya sumama ka na at simulan ang magandang umaga dito sa USL Pasirimu! In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, wellspring of goodness and blessings, we give you thanks and praise as one Louisian community the graces you incessantly grant upon us and your divine providence have sustained our beloved university throughout the years of mission and excellence. Having been founded by the congregation of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, we pray that you keep us committed and dedicated to our mission and identity to serve the church and the society as we become living witnesses to the gospel values proclaimed by Jesus. For if we are steadfast in our good and beautiful mission, our works will bring success not only to ourselves but also to those whom we are bound to love and serve. Inspired by St. Louis, our patron saint, who was filled with a noble spirit that stirred him to love you above all things, we may also live believing that we are born for a greater purpose and mission as we dwell in your presence all the days of our life. Grant all these supplications through the intercession of Mother Mary and through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang
Hello Louisians! Good morning! Welcome to USL Pasirin Mo. Do you know the song? It is a song sung by a group band named Green Day. The title is Wake Me Up When September Ends. The vocalist of the group band, Billy Jo Armstrong, wrote Wake Me Up When September Ends because of the death of his father. His father passed away after a battle with cancer in September 1982, when he was just 10 years old. He explained that the title directly quotes words that he said to his mother when his father died. He could not bear the pain and sadness because of it. For some, you can relate this feeling of the song. When you lost someone dear to you because of COVID-19 or other sickness. Not only death, but also the difficulty that we are facing. Sickness, losing job, family problem, personal problem, work-related problem, and so on and so forth. We also experienced series of community quarantines, which sometimes made us lose our faith, hope, and our sanity. When we want to wake up when September ends, we hope something better in the month of October. And we are looking forward to enter the month of October. And now we are in the month of October month of October reminds us about two things, spiritual and mental health. It is in the month of October that we celebrate Rosary Month. I would like to give you three reasons why do you need to pray Rosary. First, it's time to reflect on the Gospel mysteries. The Rosary consists of the Apostle's Creed, the Hail Mary, the Our Father, the Glory Be, along with other prayers. However, in between each decade, we are invited to reflect on the mysteries of the Gospel, joyful, sorrowful, glorious, and luminous. In these mysteries, we rediscover, examine, and ponder the stories from the Gospel, and to discover the real meaning of those events in the silence of our hearts. Second, prayer works. The power of prayer in unspeakable. The answer to every prayer is a miracle in and of itself. It is our life lifeline to Him, to our souls, and to each other. The third, spiritual healing. Another purpose of praying the rosary is to allow the repetition of the prayers enter into the silence of our hearts, where Christ's spirit dwells. It is in that silence we become more connected with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. But to do so, we may make time for Him. The Rosary is the perfect way to make time to connect with God and for spiritual healing. Not only spiritual healing, but also it has benefit on our mental health. Studies abroad have noted the positive role of religion and spirituality in coping with the pandemic. For instance, a research published in November 2020 found that the high use of religious and spiritual beliefs during the pandemic is associated with better mental health outcomes. In addition to that, this is to remind us about World Mental Health Day, which is observed on October 10 every year, to raise awareness about the scale of suicide around the world and the role 
that each of us can play to help in preventing it. This day is organized by the World Federation for Mental Health. It is also supported by WHO, the International Association for Suicide Prevention and the United for Global Mental Health. During the pandemic, at least 3.6 million Filipinos suffer from mental health, neurological and substance, substance use disorders. Depression and anxiety are on the rise among millennials as they face the pressure to perform and be functional and pandemic vadik. There is also research conducted the study in September 2020 to April 2021 found that workers were lacking focus and concentration and felt they long, no longer enjoyed things that made them happy in the past. They also had low self-confidence and had a hard time sleeping. The study also found that 13% 30, of workers took a leave of absence due to mental health problems, while 35% had productivity issues, losing an average of 2 hours daily. A quarter of those polled said that they were thinking about quitting their jobs. Aside from prayers and spiritual activities that can help you coping up, you need to ask for help from professionals for further assessment and treatment. Dear Lucians, I hope we do not have spirit of the song Wake Me Up when, when October ends or wake, wake me up when the pandemic ends. I hope we have courage that we will go through this month of October with faith, hope, mentally and physically healthy. And I hope you remember this. Whenever I feel sad and just because of this pandemic, I remember a child in a manger as he sleeps. Louisians, please remember Jesus was born to be with us. God bless you all. Thank you. Napya nga uma ni kamungamin. Dakal ipabalo ko sa ngaw nga agaw, taiga mga na ibagu nga oras tam nga matarad day, ana masirim mo, maski virtual laman. Tao nga pasirim mo tam, kaya ko apan i oras nga mapabalo, ana ipakamu ni kamu, inabalinan na departamento na elementarya ta napasanga bulan ang naggaw ira. To my faculty and my staff, I want you all to know that I appreciate your extraordinary complex job. Thank you for empowering me in every way and for allowing me as well as the university to help you flourish in wit and in faith as a professional and as an individual. Though you live with enormous responsibilities, your dedication, effort, and extraordinary service have greatly contributed to every success in our department. Your commitment in molding and imparting knowledge to our pupils was exhibited when we became the overall champion in Valig Sahan 2021, a regional competition initiated by UP Lambak, and champion in the National Quiz B and Pagsulat ng Sanaysay in the Patala Sanlahi competition. 
with love and passion, you tirelessly committed yourselves in inspiring and training our pupils towards becoming a true capable pupils. So this resulted to one another or to another bacon brought home in our department. When the Lovetian Angel, our school paper in the elementary school, was recognized as one of the best school paper in the region. Second best place news page. Second best editorial page. And seventh best scientific or science and technology page. Tenth best feature page. And eighth best page layout. With all the achievements that we have received, we did not just foster a Lovetian culture of excellence, but a culture of trust too. Thank you for trusting my form of leadership. I surely cannot do everything alone. I am a better leader because I am surrounded with people who compliment me and my professional expertise. You celebrated every victory with me, learned in every mishaps, and have grown in every step along the years. To our capable pupils, your maturity, patience, and cooperation help us to successfully navigate our way through this externally imposed online education. Being a virtual pupil can be hard, but your Lovetian family is ever ready to listen to you and to respond in any way we can. To the strong team of USL, I'd like to ask, Kumusta ka mo gapa? Paray na kwan, tayawa na Diyos, isikan na bagi ang nanono para ta USL, para ta bingira, ana para ta pamakyapyanan na magaru ira. We play a very challenging role, but we have to keep our heads above the water because many are counting on us. We have to continue to work amidst the challenges placed on our tables. Mabalo ni kamu kakabulu ko ira. The school year may be unsteady, but we will surely get the other side of this pandemic. It may sound cliche, but I'll say it anyway. There will always be a rainbow after the rain. We continue to pray for one another. Diyos, mabalo ni kamungamin, mawaragi ira. Thank you, Father Enjang and Mom Emily, for bearing the good news this October. And of course, we shall listen to more good news about USL. Um, Sir Gail, I think before we proceed to good news, uh, may we also do a shout out to all our Louisians viewing and watching this USL Pasarimu. As what we did earlier with the Louisian Gems, the senior high schools. We do the shout out for the capable Louisians Elementary School. Also shout out to our junior high school students, the Louisian Stars. And of course, our college department, the School of Health and Allied Sciences. The students from the School of Education, Arts and Sciences students and faculty members of School of Engineering, Architecture, and Information Technology Education. The School of Accountancy, Business, and Hospitality. Of course, our graduate school students, good morning sa inyong lahat dyan. To all the faculty and non-teaching personnel who are listening to us. And of course, last but not the least, our alumni and other stakeholders, hello po sa inyong lahat. We proceed with the good news. Good news number one. Congratulations to USL 
Center for Engineering Research and Technology Innovation or CERTI. The project entitled Automatic Vermicast Production Machine is now a registered utility model granted by the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines or IPO Field. The inventors, we have Rusnel Vergara, Catherine Cho, Fringe Clyde Agustin, and JV Castellon, of course, with their advisors, Engineer Erti Abana, the head of the center, and of course, Engineer Ariel Lorenzo, the program chair of electronics engineering. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good news number two. University of St. Louis de Gagarao produced two new architects in the architecture licensure exam, administered last August 27 and 29, 2021. Congratulations, architect Irene Faye R. Vista and architect Camille Ann M. Nahora. Congratulations. Good news number three. USL's Pastoral Conversation Online, which is called Luisianong Alagad ni Cristo sa Asal at Diwa or Lakad, celebrated its first anniversary. So congratulations to the Lakad team. Um, USL as a Catholic educational institution that aims for students' holistic formation launched the digital program LACAD on September 16, 2020. LACAD has produced 27 episodes for the, per for the first season and it continues to air for the second season already. Good news number four. Congratulations to Mr. Francis D. Cordova, BSIT alumnus, for bagging back-to-back -back awards in the following international conferences. Best Delegate in the Asia World Model United Nations Virtual Conference on the United Nations General Assembly on August 27 to 29, 2021. Also, the most outstanding delegate in the International Model United Nations Virtual Conference by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, on September 11 to 12, 2021. Mr. Cordova is currently affiliated with the Commission on Higher Education, Region 2. So congratulations there, Mr. Cordova, and to the IT department. Good news number five. The School of Graduate Studies and Continuing Professional Development, or SGS-CPD, is now offering Master of Arts in Education, major in Christian Faith, Values, and Philosophy Education. Good news number six. Congratulations to USL, School of Engineering Architecture and Information Technology Education, for producing 30 registered electrical engineers and 42 registered master electricians who have successfully hurdled the September 2021 REE and RME board examinations, respectively. Registered Electrical Engineer Licensure Examination with a rating of 81.08% and Registered Master Electrician Licensure Examination with 95.45%. Alright, congratulations to those passers. And of course, good news number seven. 17 student organizations staged webinars for USL Organizational Caravan 2021. Geared towards providing students with diverse knowledge and experience across programs and sectors while strengthening organ the university's partnership with its alumni the annual organizational caravan of the school was held virtually on September 17, 2021. A total of 2,776 participants composed of various organizational members in the collegiate level and some students from other universities joined in the Google Meet, Zoom conferences, and Facebook live streams of the different student organizations of USL. Good news number eight. Responding to a timely need of Lewisian learners, USL through the Community Engagement and CICM Advocacy's Office and Scholarship Office, in partnership with Globe TSSI Team, Radio Engineering Circle Incorporated, IECEP National CSR Committee, and PTC Young Engineers Section, 
distributed low prepaid Wi-Fi kits to remote areas in Sampaguita and Nabotuan, Solana, Cagayan on September 18, 2021. A total of 12 Lowishan students received the Wi-Fi kits that will surely aid them in carrying out their learning tasks and activities administered online. Wow, that's very good news. Uh, I believe the students will be using that one and uh, they really need those uh, materials. Okay, good news number nine. USL employees recollection goes virtual. Featuring the theme 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, gifted to give, igniting the zeal of mission in its time in this time of pandemic the usl employees recollection was conducted via zoom on september 23 and 30 2021 reverend father nolan a Que, chairperson of the catholic educational association of the philippines or SEAP, national christian formation commission facilitated the spiritual activity to 384 USL employees. Good news number 10. USL through SECA launched the book donation drive on September 8, 2021. The project aims to gather story books and activity books that are still in good condition. The collected books will be distributed to our partner communities. As of September 24, we were able to amass 398 books. This activity will run until October 30, 2021. Donations may be made by placing books in the large bags provided at the university's main gate. So if you still have some books there that are in good condition, feel free to donate. That's right. For good news number 11, congratulations to Miss Janine Faye D. Makaspak and Miss Marimel Chelsea M. Mayoyo, BS Accountancy alumni, who ranked 6 and 7 respectively in the Certified Tax Technicians or CTT examination held last September 12, 2021. The CTT is administered by the Philippine Association of Certified Tax Technicians Incorporated. And good news number 12. Congratulations to Ms. Fritzy Jane Diwandas, AB Psychology alumna, and USL Senior High School Guidance Associate, who ranked number four in the Certified Human Resource Associate Assessment Examination for Batch 15 National on September 25, 2021. We also congratulate Ms. Shailene Picarag and Ms. Marjorie B. Domingo, AB Psychology alumni, for successfully passing the exam, giving USL a 100% pass rate. USL is again a top performing school in the CHR, CHRA September 2021 assessment examination. Congratulations. Congratulations to all our Louisian sir guy. Sobrang dami ng good news natin, di ba? At uh, ito nga sabi ko, October Fest, nung binabasa ko itong ating you know, script, uh, sobrang dami nating good news this October. Sana ngayong October for the November USL Pasiri mo eh. Marami pa rin tayo. For sure, mas marami na naman yeah, for November. Hopefully. And as I've said, ang daming magagandang balita sa araw na ito. Talagang naipapamalas ng isang Luisiano ang kanyang galing sa anumang larangan, saan man sa bansa o saan man sa mundo. Tama ka dyan, Sir Brian. At um, this accomplishments, yan ang nagbibigay ng inspirasyon sa USL na patuloy na magbigay ng dekalidad na edukasyon sa mga Luisiano. Kaya at anong pang hinihintay nyo, mga Luisian, magsama-sama tayong muli para magkamustahan at makinig sa magagandang balita tuwing lunes. Ito ang USL Pasirimu! <laughs>